Pirates, hailing from San Diego, California. Trained by Charles Diaz and Charlie Kohler, specializing in jujitsu, wrestling, and kickboxing. Please welcome with a loud round of applause, Fred Levy, the Cuban assassin. There he is, Fred Levy, the Cuban assassin, 27 years old, five foot seven, 149 pounds, probably out of all the fighters that I talked That's to. That's it for the Cuban assassin. This assessor. is definitely the most confident, even more confident than Rob Razor McCullough. I was absolutely surprised. He's ready to go. He's fired up. He's focused. He is ready to fight. He sees himself walking through this tournament, Let's crushing everybody in his path and winning the, the belt. That's what he wants to do. He's 2-1 and one in previous fights. First victory was by a knockout. His second win was with a rear naked choke submission at a minute 30 into the fight. Says his uh, second victory actually showed him that his Brazilian jiu-jitsu was actually really coming through for him. Dude, absolutely. Got to be a well-rounded fighter in this game. He's trained in everything. He's got good wrestling skills, good jiu-jitsu skills, and good striking skills. So um, these guys are going to be off. very well matched. I and think it'll be a very exciting fight. Weighing in at 152 pounds. Hailing from Orange County, California. Trained by Franco De Camaro. De Camargo. His specialty in Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai. Give an applause for Nam Fan. <laughs> 152 pounds. He's only a 20-year-old kid. I'll tell you what, he's been fighting for a couple of years. Already has four wins under his belt. And uh, as you know, you know he's training well for us. Sure do. Uh, Franco DeMarco, great trainer. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt on his boss and Gracie. Uh, he's, very, he's one of the, the first Brazilians that I ever worked with that um, wanted to look, go out and learn all the other styles, learn some wrestling, learn some striking, and he incorporated that into his curriculum a long time before a lot of guys did, and that's why his fighters are doing very good. Um, he had a lot of vision, very good training. Well, Nam Fan says he wanted to do this since he was a kid. Lots of Rocky movies and Karate Kid actually motivated him. He thinks he needs to hold back a little bit, though. This is really interesting. He feels he has to hold back a little bit. His pace and his energy had not blown it all out in the first bout. Could that be a big mistake? Uh, no, I don't think that is a big mistake. I think he's going to show a lot of red boys. I think he's ready for this opponent. And uh, he's going to try to stay calm and capitalize on, uh, you know, time. You something ready? without Are you exhausting Let's himself, because if he does win, he wants to win the belt. All right, he told me he did lots of sprints, running, wrestling, boxing, and jiu-jitsu, and getting ready for this one. Fred Levy, an extremely confident man, says his best oh. knockout is a power double. What a slam! That was a fantastic double leg. Very impressive. Well, every one of these fights so far just absolutely loaded with excitement. Fred Levy on top, Nam Fan on the bottom. And how does he get out of that one, Chris? Well, he's got the guard, so he's not in a bad position. Uh, he needs to uh, prevent. He needs to prevent Fred from doing a lot of striking, driving him into the cage, uh, which he's doing a good job of, like pulling his head down. Now he's taking some strikes to the ribs, and he's trying to give some back to the hips. So he's taking a definite offensive position while down on the mat. He's he's de he's trying to defend while attacking. Yes, sir. All right, Fred Levy on the top right now. Fred's trained extremely hard for this fight. He says he's 150% prepared physically and mentally, and he looks right that way. He went right out and attacked Nam Fan from the beginning. Fred seems to have been doing a good job striking from the top in the guard, but as you see, Nam is working for a Kimura lock over on that left arm. So, you know, he might he might want to go ahead and try to pass that guard, get a little bit better position where uh, Nam Fan can't can't attack anything. Now, it looks like Fred's going for some liver shots there. How important are those and in, in advantageous in a fight like this? Well, it's just like in boxing. When you work to the body, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sap your energy. It's going to make you drop your hands away from your face to defend the body uh, where you can, you know, get knocked out. And that's, uh, that's the idea behind that. 
All right, another great match going. This is the last of our quarterfinal matches right here. Fred Levy, the Cuban assassin, on top right now, seemingly in command over Nam Fan, he's, uh, the gentleman on the bottom. He's definitely getting some successful ground and pound. He's been able to defend the submission attempts by Nam Fan, and uh, he's been able to get some really good striking going from the top. He's definitely in a superior position thus far. Yeah, Levy has been on top throughout uh, at least three quarters of this fight so far, and uh, looks like he's kind of wearing Nam down. But what a great oh, move. Like he just got swept. Once again, missed the submission, gave his back up. Wow, that was a now in control. Boy, we've seen a couple of fights like this turn around. This reminds me of the McCullough fight that started it all for us. Yeah. Wow, these guys have turned things around. Well, actually... Still not quite yeah. in a superior position, but he's working for a submission still. The Cuban he's, assassin on top. He's got the arm lock in, and he's going to probably... going to probably get it. I don't know, Fred Levy, a very confident fighter, looking to put on a great show and shows what he does best out there. That's what yeah, he's looking at he's, he's, he's gonna he's, tie up right now. Yeah, he? he's got that arm way behind his back. It's gonna be very difficult to escape. He's got that shoulder lock sunk in awful tight. Now that's gonna be extremely painful, just looking at it right there. You've been in the ring, you know what it's like. Yeah, okay? it's, it's a very, very, very tough submission. Uh, it's amazing that he hasn't tapped yet. He's got his arm almost all the way back up by his head. Well, in talking with Fred before the fight, I can imagine, I can understand why he hasn't. Like I said, he's extremely confident. And like I said, he feels that he's going out there to win every single match. Already pictures the victory. That's what he's I don't know what he's picturing right now, but it can't be very pretty. Well, he's just going to try to keep his arm out. What Nam needs to do is move his hips out a little bit to the side, but because of the fence is positioning, it's difficult to do that right now. All right, 19-foot cage that these guys are working in right now, but it's all about three feet of it right now is all they're using. If that... Wow, Fred Levy on top. First look, you would think he's in control, but no way. He's got the left arm behind his back, and that has got to be just painful, painful moments right Absolutely. now. He's been in that position for a good minute now, at least. Yeah, Nam's just trying to save up and then try to explode into that arm lock. His shoulder's got to be tearing right now if he's applying any pressure. Boy, I'll tell you what, Chris. Whoever comes out victorious in this match right here is really going to need some rest before they get into the next semifinal round because they are really working it. And as you well know, even lying on the mat right now, that is some intense situation. They're both working awful hard right now. Oh, wow. They are wow, he's really got that arm back, man. That's he shakes his head no. He tells referee Giuliano Prado no, and obviously uh, Prado is happy with what's going on down there, feels that both fighters are putting in the effort because he said he's going to move things along and not let him sit too long if nothing's happening. Okay, stop. And that's it. That's the bell. It went the full five minutes. Boy, I'll tell you what, that is one tough cookie right there. That was very tough, man. He, he must have extremely flexible joints. Uh, well, he must do some serious stretching, but look at those guys. I haven't seen two fighters so far. This has got to have been the most intense of all the four matches so far. That was a war right there. That was very, very good. Uh, but like I said earlier, very equally matched opponents. Very, both very well-rounded. They both had some good grappling skills, good submissions. Both had some great striking skills. And, uh, you know, Fred really did impress me with that first double leg. Uh, that was a great double leg. And Nam, fantastic guard. Got that, got that Kimura lock and held it for an awful long time. It had to strain that shoulder very badly. All right, going to be an interesting decision here on the part of the judges. Both fighters, wow. Look at the intense energy that they put into that match. Very good. Nam's still quite loose out there, isn't he? Fred looks like he's a little more exhausted and, and worn down. But uh, like I said, the winner of this match will go on to meet Patrick Hahn, who earlier <laughs> decision Chad Washburn just moments ago. This being the fourth of the quarterfinal matches and the winner moving into the semifinal Ladies and round. gentlemen, by a split decision, the red quarter wins. Oh, Nam, Nam fan, fan on a split.
decision. decision. He did a great job controlling the end of that fight, and he went for a whole lot of submission attempts, and the judges and must have liked to see that. So I'm very happy for Nam Fan. He did a great job, and uh, Fred did a great job tonight also. Great job holding on. Great takedowns. Wow, that was a very exciting fight for a fight that was actually...